Here I've got some composition of uh, trigonometric and inverse trigonometric functions, but I've got variables. And so I can't really evaluate it, but I can uh, rewrite it as an algebraic expression without any trigonometric functions. So what we're going to start off with is uh, we're going to draw a little triangle where this arc cosine of 3x, that's some angle. I'm going to call that angle theta. Okay, so this means that cosine of the angle theta is equal to 3x. And, uh, and then I can draw a triangle like that. Now, it, we're told here that x is between 0 and 1 -third. That's important to know because I have cosine is equal to a positive number. And so when I draw this, well, I know that the arc cosine is always between 0 and pi, but because it, I know that x is between 0 and 1 third. I know this, is, this cosine is a positive number. It's going to have to be in this first one. So I draw my angle, okay, and, uh, and then I can say, well, now I've got this angle theta. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I can just call adjacent 3x and the hypotenuse 1. And then I can solve for this side over here. We'll call that b and use the Pythagorean theorem. 3x squared plus b squared equals 1 squared. So this is 9x squared plus b squared equals 1. And then we subtract the 9x squared over. We have 1 minus 9x squared. And then we solve for b, take the square root. Now when you do a square root, normally you get a plus or a minus. However, based on our location here in the first quadrant, we know that b will be a positive. All right, so now I have b. I'm trying to find the sine of this angle, theta. And sine is, of course, opposite over hypotenuse. So it's that b value. So square root of 1 minus 9x squared. All right, so for part b, same idea. Same idea, but we've got here the arc cosine of 2x over 3. That we're going to call the angle, we'll call it beta. So this says that cosine of the angle beta is 2x over 3. Because x is between 0 and 3 halves, this thing here is between 0 and 1. And if the cosine is between 0 and 1, then I know I'm somewhere here to the right. And uh, of course, the arc cosine can only give me an angle between 0 and pi over 2. So I have to be in this first quadrant. And, uh, and then I can just draw a little triangle. It doesn't matter how I draw it, really, as long as it's in the proper quadrant. And my angle, beta. Now, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I could just call the adjacent 2x and the hypotenuse 3. And then solve for this side over here. We'll call that b and use Pythagorean theorem. 2x squared plus b squared equals 3 squared. So this is 4x squared plus b squared equals 9. And then subtract the 4x squared. We get b squared equals 9 minus 4x squared. And then take the square root. And again, when we do a square root, we get a plus or a minus. We pick which one based on what quadrant we're on, we're in. And in this first quadrant, this b value is going to have to be positive. So it's the positive square root of 9 minus 4x squared. All right, and then we are doing cotangent of that angle. And cotangent of an angle is adjacent over opposite. And so here I say, well, adjacent is 2x. And opposite is b, which is that thing there, the square root of 9 minus 4x squared. OK, so these are this is actually a really powerful tool. Uh, it's actually particularly useful in some applications in, uh, in calculus, where you've got <clears throat> um, these uh, trigonometric functions and inverse trigonometric functions, okay, and the composition of those, and actually being able to write those in as an algebraic in algebraic form without any trigonometric functions. That's a, uh, being able to kind of go between those forms is actually a very useful skill.